So in this video, I'm gonna be giving away this high quality PSD t-shirt mock-up for download. And uh, check the link in the description to download this for yourself and you're free to use it for whatever you like. But I'm gonna just run through in this video exactly how to update it and a couple of the different options you have to customize it. So when you download the PSD, which will work exactly the same in PhotoP as Photoshop, by the way, so even if you, you've got both or either or, it'll work fine in, in either of those. And we've got these layers here, starting with the background. So the background layer is just literally, that is the T-shirt layer. As you can see on and off there, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so that's the T-shirt layer on and off. Then we've got the main design layer, which is where we'll update our smart object you can see on and off, and there's a couple of filters on there. I'll come back to that in a minute. And then on top of that, as a clipping mask clipped to it is a shirt texture layer. Now this is applying the natural original creases and shadows on top of the, um, on top of the design layer to add that extra step of realism to it. And I think this is important because this is, this is a step that other people don't often do. And it leads to it looking a bit fake, but that's that texture layer anyway, which can be customized also. And then on the very top, there's just a light grain layer just to add a bit of um, a bit of extra grit to the image, just, just something subtle. Okay, so how do we update our design? Well, it's very really easy because it's a smart object. So we'll double click on the design, smart object itself there. And in this screen here is where you would drag in your other design and then you'd obviously turn that original one off. Just to save time, I've already put one in here. So I'm going to um, say we've just dragged that onto the document from our desktop or from wherever. Now you press Control S or Command S to save it, depending on if you're a PC or a Mac user. Or you can just go to File, Save Smart Object there if you want to do it that way. And then once you've done that, just close that tab for the Smart Object and it has updated in the main window. So now we've updated that, we can just go through a couple of options and I'll just show you how you can tweak this more to your tastes. So you've got under the design um, layer here, you've got a liquify and a blur. I'm just going to quickly go through what they do exactly in this. So the liquify, if I turn that off, you can see the image becomes a lot straighter. So I've done a liquify here as a smart object just to try and give it some shape around the folds, just to kind of push it around the folds and make it look a bit more realistic. You don't have to have that on, which I'll give you the option to turn it off with a little eyeball there. There's a slight blur, which is just trying to add a little bit more realism to it to match the kind of softness of the image because when T-shirts are printed, it's, it's never as sharp as the original photo. But if you would rather have it representing the original image 100%, then feel free to turn that off. On the layer itself, we've got an opacity set to 80%. This is just in my mind how I like it to look a bit more natural. Um, but if you want to go to 100% to get the full vibrancy, that's completely up to you. Or of course, you could go down even more if you wanted to like a vintage faded kind of look to the design. Um, so I've just left it at 80 as a starting point. And on the shirt texture layer, it's been done through a high pass filter, which allows you to customize it as well. So if you double click on the high pass layer, if I turn the radius down, you can see what's happening to the image. It's having less influence from the bigger parts of the t-shirt folds and it's only including some of the smaller parts and by doing that it's kind of brightening up the image so if i start it right at the bottom it's got no influence and as i turn that up see it's adding the lightness and darkness influence from creases of the bigger and bigger creases and if i go all the way to the top it's going to make it go really dark so this is a completely subjective thing and it's almost like a intensity slider of how much the original texture of the t-shirt comes back through. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you find the file useful. And let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of these free mockups in the future, because I plan on doing a lot more for the site. And um, yeah, I just think they'd be really handy for people to have.